it always strikes me when we're talking about summits what a summit actually is and it uh, led me to actually start looking at what summits have been around what we could focus on what we're looking at and I keep coming back to this picture where we've got multiple summits and it depends where I'm standing as to which summit I'm actually looking at because we're in a time at the moment where we do have this amazing explosion of uh, technology and capability. There is lots of um, wonderful, exciting startups. My company's one of those, but there's lots of other startup companies at the moment emerging and bringing tech together to try and make um, our ability to collaborate, to make democratising data simpler, all of these things. That then led us to have a look at the whole ontology or the taxonomies, the language we're using, the structures we're using, the frameworks, and we came up with 37 of them and then we stopped looking. And so if you can imagine this whole montage of structures and frameworks that people are working with. And these structures have got their own language. And if you're a business person and you're going, right, I need to move into industry four, I wanna start really having a look at what digital twinning is actually about. I wanna get clever with technology. And you opened this box, it'd be like Pandora or a thousand, those clowns bouncing out all over you, right? And you go, my God, where do I start? and you just end up in a mess. And part of that mess is the mess that I've been trying to solve for over 20 years, where we have all of these restrictions or everyone's got an opinion, everyone's got an idea, and everyone's right, but how do you actually kind of synthesize it in a way that is useful for your organization, is useful for the, the journey of the people who are trying to make these changes? And so understanding that is what we've done. Now, some of those things that have become, a, those aspects have become a lot more um, structured. So I work with a group where we're trying to frame up what does digital twin mean? Because everyone's got one, it's flavor of the month. Doesn't matter where you are, everybody's got one. And if you break it up, we've got it um, working at the moment in four levels. We talk about a component. So these are all the bits that have got um, the pistons in an engine. That's a component. And even within the pistons, you could break that out and there would be smaller components even in that. And those components have all got uh, sensors that are providing us with information that is giving, feeding back to a computer that's got a dashboard and we call that a digital twin. We can do this, we can do exactly the same thing for a machine or an asset, like a pump or a car engine, something like that. We can do exactly the same thing. That if I take it up another level and I look at a system or a plant, a system might be 10 of those pumps, right? Or the plant has got five engines in it, but they need to work together and we can put sensors on those and we can actually then be looking at performance and um, KPIs around that. That's another digital twin. Then we have what we would call an enterprise level twin. And the enterprise level twin is more around a value chain. So when we're talking about mines, we would say, well, we're taking a mineral out of the ground. It goes on a conveyor. The conveyor goes into crushes. The crushes go into other crushes. Those crushes go into trains. Trains go somewhere. Now we've got ourselves a value chain and we can actually twin a value chain around critical physical assets. And Digital Twinning Australia, that's where we actually prioritise or focus our attention is at that level.